Howdy, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome once again to Sherlock Holmes Primes and Punishments. It's about to heat up. We have been busy. Last episode, we found silverware hidden down the well, and we also found Sir Eustace's um, medical what do you reports know in about the safe. Sir Eustace, Inspector. Um, what we're was his stuff right back into it. If the you are enjoying this, please check and shut up and like button, subscribe. If you haven't already, demon when he was drunk. and don't forget to share Such the channel. Such moments, he was and apparently white. capable of anything. Why? Once as he splashed a, fuel as a on Lady Brackenstall's his dog boy. and set it alight. Another day, he threw Whoa. a canter of wine at Miss Wright's head. Hmm. The alcohol seemed to madden him. To the point that we were forced to intervene several times to avoid a scandal. He poured fuel on a dog and went to set it on fire. I have recovered the stolen silverware. What you a You are matter. a wizard, Mr. Holmes. And where is it? In I the haven't. garden well. Excuse me? Unique, isn't it? Rather absurd. What is the point of stealing silverware and then throwing it down into a well? Exactly. Perhaps it was used as a temporary hiding place. Or simply the thieves wanted to get rid of it. It is up to us to solve this mystery. I... I... I mean, where are we leading, folk? Where are we leaning, folks? I don't know. I mean, I'm still thinking that, um... What I, Inspector Stale, so Eustace had a severe drinking problem once he set Lady Brackenall's on fire. So there's a link to this, which takes care of that. Silverware found, criminals, whatever, and that one. We don't have anything else to link to these ones together yet, which is fine. We're going to go talk to the lady, um, which will hopefully give us another piece of information, um, because she will be able to tell us hopefully about the medical report, I believe. And also possibly answer a question about why the fuck the silverware was in the well. We found your silverware, Lady Brackenstall. It had not been taken very far. Is that true? I am very thankful to you, Mr. Holmes. Are you? Your ladyship? I do not believe that you are. Are we not going to ask her about the medical report? I kind of thought that would be one of the things we would do. I fucking... Am I really not getting... I don't feel like I'm getting much on this one. Um, so we do this. Domestic violence. Okay, so what? Do I, do I just try and monkey these things around and see what happens? Must be I do. Nope, nothing to do with it. Okay. Do I go back to using Toby? What about you? I've, I've, I've missed you. I have missed you. I have missed you off. I haven't been speaking about history of violence. Sir Eustace's doctor speaks of his violent behavior. Yes. Sir Eustace was an extremely violent man. A detestable human being, to be more precise. Hmm. It is true that he once threw a decanter at me, and all because I dared to stand up to him in defence of my mistress. Sly devil. God forgive me that I should speak of him so now that he's dead. But a devil he was. If ever yes. one walked the earth, we met him only 18 months ago. She'd only is just arrived in London. Yes, it was her first voyage. She'd never been from home before. And yet she One stayed away for him. His title and his money and his false London ways. If she made a mistake, she has paid for it, if ever a woman did. She doesn't have any friends here. So it was specially hard for her. Very interesting. We found your mistress's silverware. Oh, that's good news. You really are as clever as they say. Hmm. Indeed. I feel like me and Holmes both have the same reaction to her. There is something fuckery going on here, isn't there? No personal life from Australia. There you go. Uh, no acquaintance, Lady Brack, nor married Sir Eustace shortly after arriving and remained at home during that time. There's a possibility that she or her maid are acquainted with anyone in the country. Lady is acquainted with someone from the Rock of Gibraltar. That one. That's what we're saying. And that doesn't go with that, does it? That fucking doesn't go with it. All right, fuck you then. Okay, so there's nothing there. There is nothing to be gained out of this shite bag. This is bollocks, man. This is absolute bollocks. No way is this bollocks happening. This is absolute boulder dash. Spiffing what what. So we found criminals identified. They don't go together. They don't go together. Do they go together? They go together? Wait, what? Robbery is the motive. Imitated robbery. I believe it is that one, personally. Murderous visitor. Sir Eustace was murdered by the one person who was visiting that night. 
It was he who tied up Lady Bracknell, his tall and strong. Look for a sailor. Okay, wonderful. Search the sailor suspects. Okay, I need to go back to my archives and search for the sailor suspect. No, get off this thing. Fuck you bastards, goddamn fucking homes. And I just control everything. You are useless. Because I don't know. I don't know. I don't know whether I'm just openly... I don't know whether I'm just assuming the worst. I mean, it could be a quite a, 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 a normal cut and dry case, couldn't it? As to why he got caught in. But maybe now I'm overthinking. Maybe that's like... Maybe that's what the game wants you to think by this point. I don't know. I don't know. Rockridge Volta, 1893. The name of the ship and the date of Lady Bracknell. And the voyages. Right. Not newspapers. Encyclopedias? Probably not. No. Newspapers? No. Research? No. Chemistry? Poisons? Wounds and injuries? No. Martial arts? Marks and symbols? No. Maybe it is in newspapers then. Um, what was the year? 1893. 1893. Rocket Gibraltar. There you go. The Rocket Gibraltar, a bulk carrier from the Adelaide, Southampton, London line. Cunard Building, James Street, London, has returned from a six month voyage through India, New Zealand, and Australia. Uh, the ship brought to England Miss Mary Fraser, the heiress of the Fraser family owning land and tin mines in Australia. This reportedly beautiful young lady is present is presently engaged to Eustace. Ooh. One of the wealthiest gentlemen in Kent. So yeah, he didn't he need his money. Or doesn't need his money? I'm confused now. The shipping company, the Adelaide Southampton London Line, and its address. Interesting. It must be the place where they keep the records, including the one for the crew of the Rock of Gibraltar. I think that if you pretend you're from Scotland Yard, they'll give it to you without any problems. But I have another solution. I'll call in the specialist. Are we going to call him in again, are we? Wonderful. Wiggins, you scruffy little bugger. Come up here. I have a word with you. I have work. Wiggins, could you come upstairs, please? Yes, yeah, there you go. Good boy. I should give you home and food and cup of supper. At your service, Mr. Holmes. Yeah, you are a I good I need lad. a register, my young friend. If you could borrow it, there will be half a guinea for every one of you. I need the crew list of the Rock of Gibraltar in 1893 and their current employment. I'm straight on it, Mr. Holmes. There you go. Really Good boy, Wiggins. My secret police is better than the Yard in many ways. Absolutely. Also, I get to not not commit a crime of imposing like Mr. a, a, a boss, uh, We can't take it back. It's too risky. No worries. I don't want table. to take it back. I'll take care of it. Good work, young Wiggins. And your money. He's a good lad. I should pay you for this, shouldn't I? I left it right on the table for you, sir. For you, sir. Awesome. Good boy. Good boy. This list shows the senior officers of the Rock of Gibraltar, on which Lady Brackenstall and her maid made their voyage. Lady Okey Brackenstall dokey. does not know anyone in England. This must mean that someone on this list is our mysterious visitor. And these are the lists of the senior officers of the Adelaide Southampton London Line ships. Let us find out who was in London upon November the 7th. Okay, how do I know that? Arrived in London, England on November 12th. January 28th. May 17th. March 2nd. Am I being stupid? I'm sorry, but November 7th, right? Murder date, 7th of November. Arrival in London, England on November 12th. Was it just, so is it? I mean, I guess it could be that one. Departure for, no, March. No, it could, oh, wait a minute. Left, but, uh. No. Departure from Adelaide, arrival, blah, blah. 
Am I being dense? I feel like I'm being dense. I mean, Southward. Is this this officer is still at sea, therefore he cannot be involved. Okay. Is it okay? So I mean, I'll, if I just do trial and error, fuck it. I, be, I feel like I'm being stupid. Am I being stupid? This officer Chill. was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He wasn't in London at the time of the crime. Departure from London. Oh, departure from London. Wait a minute. Departure from London. Departure from London. Departure from London. Remember? Ooh. Yeah, you were. You were fine. You were fine to be here. Mr. Jack, Jack Crocker. Crocker was in London upon the date of the crime, and he is due to depart in two days. Beautiful. Uh, Ernest J. Wood. What? Who else is on here? Uh, Hooper. Hooper. Nope. Wilk. Nope. Stuart, nope, and Nail Marcus. Is it, could it be these ones as well? Not really. No, you left on October 23rd. You came back on the thing. I want to go back to this one. This one has to be the one, surely, right? Jack Crocker. This list shows this. Do I have to cross every other fucker off, do I? Oh, fuck off. Um, this is a walker. This officer walker. is still at sea. I have to cross everyone out. This is bullshit. Uh, Whittington, this Whittington, officer. wonderful, uh, Partledge, 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 Woods, and Partledge, 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 he is Partledge, uh, Partledge. This officer was on a ship that sailed half a month ago. He was Captain shot. Jack there we go. is Thank our you. mysterious visitor. He was the yes. only one around at the time of the murder. Absolutely he was. So are we saying then we have to con call Crocker to convert him? Oh, beautiful. So we're saying that this Crocker. Do you think? Do I think he is the killer? I do him. believe him. Our young friend should be able to find him. Wiggins, I have more work for you, and there'll be a whole guinea in it for you. Wiggins, could you find a way to bring this Captain Crocker here to us? Here. Holmes, that could be dangerous. No problem, Mr. Holmes. Look at that face. I trust him with everything. Sometime later. Good day, Captain Crocker, you murderous scoundrel. Mr. Holmes? Hello. I was informed that you were looking for me, and I'd like to know why. You have a fucking yes, good ear, don't it you? it is important that we talk. You will soon understand why. Okay. Look him up and down first. Get the measure of the man. Let's do this first. Uh, the eyes. Clear look. Honest. Oh, okay. Are we saying that he is not a bad sort after all? Is that what we're saying? Because I'll be honest, I was not expecting that. Strong build. With furry shillele kind of stuff. Uh, okay, whatever. Uh, strong hands. Could, could strangle a man. Crotch. Uh, man. Man. Man hands. Newspaper ink. Okay, interesting. Dirt, dirty trousers, dirty man. Clean boots, but dirty trousers. Odd, very strange. Belt, 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 crotch, it is crotch. Ah, oh, it's a sea knife. Okay, you have a knife. That is, that is interesting. You are acquainted with Lady Mary Brackenstall, are you not? Yes, I think I do remember her from when I was first officer, but I still don't see. It seems your relationship went beyond that of mere passenger and first officer. How dare you? Indeed, how reckless a feeling mm. is love, particularly if one is prepared to commit a murder in its name. Explain yourself this instant. You are aware that the murder made the headlines of the morning press. You read the newspaper report, but to your dismay, found it much fabricated. Once you learned that I wanted to see you, you came straight away. You needed to know what I had found. You? And what do you know? That evening, oh. you were with Lady Brackenstall, despite the danger. I'm not afraid, Mr. Holmes. Besides, all of this is just guesswork. You would be right if there was no evidence. What then? You tied her up. Lady Brackenstall was tied to a chair on the night of the murder. And it was you who tied her up. You call that evidence? Uh, any sailor's knots, I suppose. 
Sure, let's go with that. Yes, as she was tied with a sailor's knot. Your handiwork. So, it's a sailor who's done it. That proves nothing, Mr. Holmes. I'm not the only sailor in London right now. Your theory is flawed anyway. On the night of the murder, I was aboard the Shark. I was supervising the repair of a porthole. Hmm. At night? It was an emergency. There was a leak. You can ask the ship's carpenter. He can confirm. I'm sure that he can. Perfect. In that case, we have nothing more to talk about. Good evening, gentlemen. Right. Holmes, what should we do now? Would you like to check his alibi? I would, yes. No. There is no doubt that these men will testify in his favor, and there will be no way to check. So, what then? That's so, we must work with what we have. We have all the puzzle pieces. Now I so. understand why you dissected the bell rope. I don't. So you're good to go up on that one. Crocker statement, Captain Crocker. Okay, so then we are saying what? Crocker's alibi was aboard the Sharp on the night of murder. He was not afraid to confront me. He had a confident demeanor. Crocker is lying. His involvement is clear. He appeared as soon as he heard that I was looking for him, thus signaling his guilt. This is what we're saying, is it? Oh, it's just straight to that, is it? Oh, fuck. I found all the clues. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. The captain is the killer. I don't think the captain is the killer. I don't believe he is. I believe... Can I... Can I... Crocker's involvement. If I say this one. Acquainted with a sailor, no acquaintance. I believe that she was acquainted with the sailor. I don't believe that that is fucked up. Deadly accident. Death of the users could have been due to this one. I think, personally, what has happened. This money is an evidence match and point to the Randall gang. I don't I don't believe that these two are separate. Domestic accident. Death of Sir, uh, the death of Sir Eustace was an accident caused by a struggle with his wife. Absolved Lady Bracknell, Lady Bracknell and her maid committed the crime in self-defense. You decided there is no point in blaming this poor woman. Condemn her. Lady Bracknell and her maid killed Sir Eustace and attempted to cover their crime. They deserve to be treated as criminals. I mean, okay, the only thing is... There should, there needs to be like a third one. Really. Is it gonna do that? No, I can't. It doesn't give me another, it doesn't give me anything else different. The only other thing I was thinking of is like, okay, so there's three glasses on the table. Okay, the only thing I was thinking of potentially. Why would there be three glasses? I'm still confused on that one. I still don't quite get that. What if it's not? What if it is three people? But I don't believe it's robbery. I don't believe it's the Randall gang. I believe it's that, but I believe it's this. I believe it's this. And all of it goes red. I don't think it's this. I do not think it is this. I think there must be a third one. I think there must be a third one down here. Where it's like, so useless and, like, it has to be, th ah, it's got to be two. It doesn't make sense for it to be him. It doesn't. I mean, the knife thing does, I suppose, but. Sailor's not, sailor's not, sailor's not, sailor's not. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm seeing something that's not there. But it wouldn't make sense for... Oh, but he jumped the freaking... Okay, can I see her? Can I see the handmaid jumping over the, the wall? That is the question.
This makes more sense to me than him doing it. Because I feel like if it was him there and he was going to kill him, he would have killed him with his knife. For starters. What is this one? Say in the background. But doesn't really... I mean, it links to him doing it, I suppose. Yes, I be, so I think if it was him, he would have killed them. Okay, the, there, is the other, there is the third option, I suppose, that it could have been the Randall gang. <laughs> but if it, if, if it was the Randall gang, well, then they made off with nothing. I've also realized I got through this quest much quicker than I thought I was going to. Um, I'm really, I'm, I'm stumped on this one a little bit. I don't want to get it wrong, because we've got three for three so far. Okay, look, okay, so I'm right. We're going to rule out the Randall gang, okay? Because they would not have just thrown the silverware down the well, okay? That, that just wouldn't have happened, I don't believe. Um, so then it's between the ladies or the sailor. Now, okay, so the ladies and the, both the ladies were on the ship for what? A good few months. So they could have well picked up the sailor's knots and stuff like that. They could have done that. Okay. Um, maybe. Also the fact that I suppose there were three glasses on the table would, would cover both the maid, the lady, and the husband would be a thing um okay so that's that takes care of, that does actually answer the three glasses thing doesn't it one of them could choose to have bees whatever in the thing so that's something um the bell her being tied up doesn't make a lot of sense though <laughs> her being tied up with him does not make a lot of sense Unless it was, unless it was literally just all staged and not really done very well at all. I mean, that is a possible thing, but then where did you get the knife from, I suppose? Knife could, I mean, you get a knife from anywhere, I suppose. It doesn't need to be a ship's knife, does it? Or a sailor's knife. It could have been anyone's knife. And him coming to find out was, well, you know, if we're thinking him, he's a suspect in the murder crime, then, I mean, I would come to find out what the fuck was going on, wouldn't you? I don't know. But, let's try and answer it from the other side then. So, could it have been him? Maybe, yes. It could have been him. He could have fallen in love with her. There were certain aspects of his questioning that did make me feel like he was into her. However, if it was him, then what would answer the three glasses rule? I mean, he would put bees in it, maybe, would he? Because he wouldn't like the taste? I don't know. And potentially the, the handmaid knew about them, I suppose. Maybe. Um, but again, though, I don't think it would have been done with a poker. I think it would have been done with his knife. I, f I feel like he would have killed him quite easily. There would have been no faffing about. And also there would have been no reason for him to tie her to the chair. Like, why would he have done that? He wouldn't have tied her to the chair. He would have tied the guy to the chair, potentially. I'm going to go with domestic accident. I'm going to say... I'm going to say... I'm going to absolve Lady Bracknell. I'm going to say the three of them were drinking. While they were drinking, he got aggressive. I'm going with this one. This was what I'm going with. I don't think, it, I don't think he killed. I'm saying it was this one. We'll see how it happens. I... I don't know. This, I feel like this one, I have the least faith in. Last one, I felt good about it because I was onto that one from the very beginning. And again, this one, I feel like I'm onto it from the very beginning. However, I feel like the three glasses thing is probably that good a sign for Ladies, it. They... I know the full story. You are both guilty, are you not? Mr. Holmes, I can explain everything. Result? No, madam, he's bluffing. It is no Who am I? Your husband was a violent man, a cruel man. Your argument last night ended tragically, with him stumbling and falling, fatally striking his head upon the fireplace grate. However, your mise en scène to divert suspicion was unnecessary. You should have admitted the truth. The truth is often subjective, Mr. Holmes. Not that to me. true. What will you tell Inspector Lestrade? He will find nothing, as he handed the case over to me. Farewell, ladies.
I'm in favor of this one. We found the culprits, but Inspector, it needs VHS I'm afraid that the murderers have escaped us. What? Do you mean to tell me that you failed? Never thought I'd live to see the day. I, I mentioned know. the murderers, not the case. It is obvious that the crime was committed by three criminals who cannot be the Randalls. You really think so? You only need to find a gang of three thugs wandering around. I can trust you to do that. If they exist, I'll catch them. Very you well. You get three thugs on the street. I have no doubt of it. And these two ladies Goodbye, say okay. Inspector. I'm happy with that. I'm happy. I got it wrong. It was an accident. It was done on purpose. Oh, we, I, we've got to see what it's like. Yes, we have to see what it's like. Oh, I got it wrong. Okay, okay. All right, partial points. If it's still them, but done maliciously. Fuck. I gave them benefit of the doubt and everything. Condemn the lady. God damn it. It is this one, isn't it? I mean, if it, uh, well, we know they killed them. We know that happened. Fuck. I should have stuck with my original thing, which was they fucked him up. God damn it, man. I have reached my conclusion, Lestrade. I regret that your culprits are in the next room. Lady Bracken stole and her maid? Yes, and their mise-en-scene after the death of Sir Eustace can only point to premeditation. That's terrible. Follow uh, me. I... I'm going to arrest them. Fantastic. Bastards deceived me. I feel, sh I feel used. Ladies. Not in a good way I either. I must arrest you both for the murder of Sir Eustace. What? But that's impossible. We are innocent. Madam. You'll tell that to the judge. Come with me now. You were making a serious mistake, Inspector. You Wait, too, am I? Mr. Hopes, which is rather surprising of you. Or rather, impossible. Wait a minute, am I actually wrong? Am I actually wrong? Well, why were you... Wait a minute, was it him? Wait, was it the Randalls? I'm so confused. One second. Does it make does it make sense for it to have been him? But it fucking it doesn't make sense. Does it? Him? Right, okay, absolve cap the murder was committed in self defense. Jack Crocker defended a woman against a violent and dis Okay, maybe that was the thing then, because that again, I, the mystery was solved, but you decided to keep it secret. There's no need to film the police. Maybe that was the only way. Maybe not that one then. I don't fucking. Fuck it, do this one. I am so confused. I swear to God. Wiggins, could you ask Mr. Crocker to come here again, please? Right away. I am barely an hour has passed. Beautiful, wonderful. This had better be the one, otherwise I, I, they can't be the Randalls. Why did you make me come here again, Mr. Holmes? It is over. You're lying I bastard. know that it was you who killed Sir Eustace Brackenstall. What? I know because of the height at which the rope was cut. The knife used oh, was the a rope. sea knife. The knots were sailor's knots. And not least, the sheer force that was put behind... I forgot about the height. Blow. And because you are the only one who knows Lady Mary Brackenstall in London. And because you love her. It's true. It is time for you to tell us the whole truth. I admit that I loved Mary madly from the first day that I met her. But I never did come to visit her. For I believed that she was in a happy household. When I talked to her maid who told me everything, I was insane with rage. I was due to set sail for six months away. I wanted only to see her again. But it turned into a damnable nightmare when he barged in. He dared raise his hand to her. He! He was not even worthy of licking her boots. Oh, I regret nothing. 
I admit I killed the monster out of love for her. She will forgive me if she is able. Lady Brackenstall already forgave you. She said nothing. Mary! But that makes her an accomplice as well as her maid. It places her in danger yet again. Mr. Holmes! You would not have managed to protect her. Till I die, do you hear me? Here is a letter that sets everything clear. And it is the one that should be disclosed to the police. I am the only culprit. Mary had nothing to do with it. Sorry, now I'm, it is I'm... time to end this. I'm, I'm sucked into this one. No, 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 no. No. No, you don't, you bastard! I swear to God, the freaking keyboard lag on that bit. There, there, there. You stop it, you naughty boy. Please forgive me, Captain Crocker. I wished only to test your sincerity, and your words and deeds have far exceeded my expectations. See here, Captain Crocker. We'll do this in due form of law. You are the prisoner. Watson, you are a British jury. Captain Crocker, the evidence shows that you acted without premeditation and used reasonable force to protect an innocent victim from her husband's brutality. Your devotion pushed you to attempt to kill yourself in order to protect the one you love. Now, what say you, gentlemen of the jury? Not guilty, my lord. Vox populi, vox dei. You are acquitted, the voice Captain of the people Crocker. Is the voice so of long God. as the law does not find some other victim, you Impressed are no safe line. from me. Mr. Holmes. It is a great responsibility that I take upon myself, but I will give Lestrade an excellent lead, and if he can't avail himself of it, I can do no more. This Come had better be the right one. Year, and may her future and yours justify us in the judgment which we have pronounced this night. If this is not the legit way of ending this case, I don't want to end it any Inspector, other way. I'm afraid that the murderers have escaped us. What? Do you mean to tell me that you failed? Never thought I'd live to see the day. I mentioned the murderers, not the case. Sorry, I'm it no, I've been. That the crime this one, I've been waiting for three criminals who cannot be the Randalls. You really think so? You only need to find a gang of three thugs wandering around. I can trust you to do that. If they exist, I'll catch them. You'll find someone. I have no doubt of it. Goodbye, Inspector. Come on, please be right. Please be right. Please be right. Please. Thank fuck. Okay. Okay. Well, that took three shrimps to get the right one. I'm. I didn't even think. Oh, I mean. God damn it. Why, when I did that first one, do they say, like, you know, it's not what you think? Oh, because she was involved. Oh, because she was involved. Oh, I feel bad. I went straight to it being, you know, an in inside job and everything. Oh, I feel bad. Well, do you know what? I'm glad we saved him. <sighs> Fucking legend. You could hear the, that. That was quite a nice speech, to be fair with you. That was that pulling my heartstrings and tear jerkers, whatever. That was quite nice. Anyway, it took us a few tries, but we got there in the end, I guess. At least we didn't go through literally every other fucking option to get the right one. Third time's a charm. All that crap. Thank you very much, everybody, who has come out for today's episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, then please chuck some cheddar on the like button, subscribe if you have not already, and continue to share the channel far and wide. Um, Vox Populi, Vox Dei. Hopefully that will be one day what I can say for this channel. We'll see. <laughs> uh, but have a great day, guys. Lots of love, and I'll see you again very soon. Bye-bye.